Hey guys, Corruption here. Welcome to episode 25 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play, the Christmas special. In this episode, I want to build a massive snow globe. And you're probably wondering where, because I don't really have a lot of space, do I? Like, we've filled this area up, and we've filled the other area up, but there's one place we don't have anything yet. This mountain. So the plan is, is to completely flatten this out and build the snow globe right here. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Remember this guys, episode one. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. But now we've got to destroy this mountain. So let's get to work. And whilst I'm digging this out guys, I'd just like to say, hope you guys did have a good Christmas. Or whatever holiday you guys celebrated. You may not have celebrated any holiday, but I hope you guys just had a good day. I haven't had my Christmas yet, because I'm recording this on the 22nd of December. So Christmas for me is in three days, but for you guys it was two days ago. Comment below what you guys got. I can't tell you what I got yet, because I don't know. Okay, so I've suffered out quite a lot, but as you can see, my pickaxes are pretty much broken. But before we do that, this gives me the perfect opportunity to add someone else to the Hall of Fame. So let me scroll through the comments of previous episodes. Okay, and I have my person, Loki Logan. Let me also give you a blue die and your glowing sack. And there we go, another person has been added to the Hall of Fame. And if you guys want to be in the Hall of Fame, all you got to do is comment below your username and whatever die you want to put in your sign. The next episode, I'll choose someone else. And it literally might just be you. Anyway, back to the video. Let me just sit here for a little bit to repair my tools. I really do need a better XP farm, don't I? Okay, so I've been sitting here for a little while now. And I've repaired my tools a little bit. It really ain't the best farm for XP. <laughs> it's good for a starter XP farm, but now that we have never right tools, we need a lot better. And also, whilst we're down here, we might as well trade all this stone and rotten flesh for emeralds. Which also gives me some XP. There we go. Everything's been traded in. I managed to get 56 emeralds from that, which can be crafted into a few more blocks for our beacon. Now we can get back to digging. Okay, so once again, my pickaxes are pretty low. So let me just... Another stack of emeralds, which is another seven blocks for our beacon. I just realised something, guys. Instead of wasting my durability, why not just use a bunch of, like, random pickaxes in here? I've got two. And actually, guys, I've realised a couple other things. Back in episode 19, I built this little storage room back here. And I've just never used it. So I think at some point, I am going to have to fill these chests up with stuff. I'll probably do that, like, at the end of this episode. Like, I can just fill this chest with, like, stone and stuff. So I don't have to go back to the storage room every time I come here. And another thing that I've realised, guys. My shulker boxes are not died yet. Like, I've had these two shulker boxes, like, for most of the series. And I've just kept them as normal. So... Let me fix that. Let's turn one of them black and one of them lime. I'm also going to change the colour of this shulker box to magenta because this is my enchanted books box. I'm also just going to rename all these. Okay, so here we have enchanted books, corruption shulker box number one and corruption shulker box number two. Anyway, let's get back to mining. And there goes my first diamond pickaxe. There goes the second diamond pickaxe. So let me grab another one and continue. Well, wait, these are efficiency free. I'm stupid. There we go. Much better. Okay. And 90 minutes later, we have completely flattened the top of this mountain. And look how much room we have now. Not exactly sure what else I'll build up here. But there's plenty more room for other things. Before we start building the snow globe, I'm just going to get rid of like all this dirt and ores and stuff and just make it stone. So three, two, one, bam. Now I've just got a massive flat plate of stone. The question is, where do we want to build this snow globe? I was thinking maybe like behind the statue like here. And I kind of want to build like a base out of stone brick. So let me grab a load of stone brick stairs and slabs. So if I started like just behind these beacons. And let me build a quick circle. Okay and I think that is an alright circle. Because this is only like the base of the snow globe. So it's going to be a little bit like bigger than the actual snow globe if that makes sense. The next thing I'm going to do is outline this with a block of stone brick right here. All the way around. Just like that. And I'm going to have a stone brick slab right here going all the way around as well. And next to the slabs is going to be a full block of stone brick. Okay, and that is the base of our snow globe. On this block is where this, like, the glass will be, and it'll kind of go, like, around, like, 
that, it's just going to be pretty difficult to make that kind of shape, especially in Minecraft. And obviously for this build, I'm going to need a lot of glass. And we have four and a half stacks, plus two stacks of sand. Which is probably like, maybe like a third of the amount of glass that I need. So let's get this sand smelting. And I guess we can start with this glass and see how far we get. So I think on top of this block, it's just going to be an outline of glass. And then there's going to be another row of glass that kind of goes out like here, all the way around. And then on top of that, I'm going to do another layer. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Because right here, I'm going to build another circle like going like that to make it spherical and guys i've actually never built a sphere in minecraft before so this is a bit of a challenge for me okay so i've built a bit of a circle right here and i guess i kind of need to make this go up a bit like circular as well so it's not a square right here kind of like that i guess now let me do that on all the other sides and now i'm going to build this circle and all the other sides as well okay and there we go i've built the four circles but i have a bit of a problem guys i'm down to my last four pits of glass which means we're gonna have to do some exploring to get some sand and if i remember in this direction somewhere there was like that massive beach that i found a few episodes ago well this ain't the place i was thinking of but there's a lot of sand here, so I guess it'll do. This is where that second corrupted village was as well. Anyway, let's just get to work. I'm gonna try and aim for maybe like a shulker box full of sand. Just so we don't have to do this for a couple episodes. Okay, so I've pretty much got a shulker box full. So let's just head home. So let me just go down here. Ugh, and there we go. We're back home. I'm probably gonna smell about half of this sand. Okay, now we've got some glass. Hello. As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, now I've got some glass, let's go up here, and continue building this. So in these circles, I want to have like another circle, like going out a block, just like that. Now let me do that to the rest of them. That's the first one. Second, and finally, the last circle is built. And now I'm going to build like a bit of a circle around this circle. So like right here, I like build another circle on the outside, just like that. So let me do that for all of them. Okay, and now that these are done, I need to fill in these gaps. So let me just... Okay, and there we go. The last thing we need to do is fill in the roof. So let me just look at the ground, look back up, and boom, the roof is complete. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually build the interior. But I have to say guys, doesn't this thing look insane from the outside? And for the interior, I'm going to need a lot of snow, which we don't have. So let me grab a pumpkin, steal two blocks of snow from the auto sorter, spawn in a snow golem, which I thought would produce snow on the ground, but um, Roche is having a moment. Hello? Give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, so I've got snow here. I've made it working. Apparently, I was in the wrong biome, so I can't have snow on, like, my mountain, which is a bit weird, but now we can collect snow with our fortune shovel. Okay, and after a little while of farming snow, I managed to get five stacks of snow blocks. And the plan is, on this level right here, it's just going to be all snow. So let me fill all of this in real quick, and there we go. That's pretty much all my snow. I've only got 51 left. So the plan is, right here, there's gonna be a little spruce house over here there'll be a mini igloo and in the middle there'll be a nice christmas tree and obviously i'm gonna need quite a lot of spruce for this and seven logs ain't gonna be enough and i'm also gonna need quite a few spruce leaves so let me just that should be enough stuff so i think the first thing i'm gonna build is a little house Okay, and I think this will be the size of it. I want it to be pretty small, but I want it to look pretty nice as well. And obviously, we're looking into the snow here. I'll put some spruce here instead. And a door. And some upside down cobblestone stairs right here. Spruce planks here and here. And all the way around. Spruce stair right there. And at the back of the house, I'm going to put a line of cobblestone going up here. So I want there to be a chimney right here. And now we've got to build the roof. And I think it's going to be a kind of basic design. I'm going to have an outline of cobblestone. Why is there a creeper in here? As I was saying, it's going to be an outline of cobblestone, and in the middle will be spruce. Okay, and there we go. The roof is complete, and I've even built the chimney right here. I'm also just going to break out a little space here and here for some windows. And this is the interior so far. I'm going to put a campfire right there. Bam! A bed right here. Crafting table. A furnace. And a double chest. Let's also not forget to put the glass in. And there we go. The little house is complete. It's a little bit cramped in here, but I don't think I'll ever go in here, so... It's fine. But now right here, I'm going to build a little Christmas tree. I think that will probably be the height of it. Now let's just put down all the leaves. Okay, and there we go. The Christmas tree is built. I decided to move it up a block because it was way too close to the house before. Which means I have to build the igloo over here instead. But obviously, that isn't really a Christmas tree. Let's just add a bit of decoration to it. There we go. Now it's a Christmas tree. And the next thing I'm going to do 
is the igloo. So let me build like the outside of it. Okay, so I think this will be the size of the igloo. I'm going to have a piece of packed ice right here for a window, even though you can't see through it. But if I did normal ice, it would just melt. A green bed and a crafting table. And there we go, I think that is my igloo complete. And there's just one last thing. Well, actually, there's a few more things that I need to do in here. First of all, I want a proper entrance to this place. So I think I'll have a door right here and make it look a little bit better with some glass right there. There we go. That looks a little bit better. The next thing I want to do is add some paths in here. So let me just dot a bit of gravel around. I'm also going to have a few path blocks in here. And some cool dirt. And there we go. I think that'll do for a nice little path. The next thing that I want to sort out is lighting because it's a little bit dark in here and so the snow and ice don't melt i'm going to use soul torches and soul lanterns because by some reason they don't break the snow or ice and also they're blue so it kind of fits in the theme so let me just add a few of these torches around and a few of these lanterns around Okay, and it's just one last thing we need to do. Why not spawn in a bunch of snowmen? Just to liven up the area a little bit. I'm also going to craft some snow layers, just so the igloo looks a little bit better. Okay, so I've placed a bunch of snow layers around the whole area, and I've just made it look a whole lot better. Yeah, I think the snow globe is complete. And look how cool this looks. It's definitely going to be a nice addition to our world. Now let me just sort out these two shulker boxes. There we go. And there's just one last thing that we need to do. Let me craft three shulker boxes to beds. And let's go on the last Nevite Mining Montage of 2023. <laughs> Okay, and from three shulker boxes of the beds, I managed to get 55 ancient debris. So let's get it smelted up. There we go. Now let's turn into ingots and make one more block of netherite to place on our beacon. And that is it for today's episode. So hope you guys did enjoy the Christmas special. This snow globe is just absolutely insane. Look how cool that looks right there. So nice. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, like, give it a like. Please subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Bro, why did I put cobwebs here? Let me out! <laughs>